guys. Got a visual on the van. Looks clean. Just one bloke driving. Stand by. Over. Heads up, they're entering the lake bed. On the CS gas and get ready to fire. Gas locks loaded! They're coming your way. Roger, he won't know what it is. Singapore, please check in with airport security. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? We are sorry to announce that flight 1021 to Newark has been cancelled due to severe weather over New Jersey. You may excuse me, please, you may either take special charter flight 1443 to Los Angeles and then reroute to Newark, landing in 37 hours, oh, no. or, excuse me, excuse me, please. Scott, Jennifer, excuse me. Philip, excuse me, everything please. is safe and sound. Or you can return tomorrow for flight 1222, departing at this same time. Thank you. So do we get to stay in a hotel room? We can't afford a hotel for an extra night. Why not? <laughs> I'll catch up with you. Team, we are taking that charter flight. Oh, a hotel room sure would have been nice. Hijack attempt made on the van. What? All the specimens are safe. The project is still secure. But, um, why, why didn't you tell me something before? Well, I'd rather not bother Dr. Stewart and Dr. Ryan. Besides, we have to sit in a flying tin can with them for the next 20 hours. I'll tell them when we land. Absolutely, I think this is, um, it's better that we keep this between ourselves. 
Yeah, I think you're right. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now boarding special charter flight 14443 to Los Angeles. All roads, please board at this time. Thank you. Did it go, the tournament? Oh, don't ask. Oh, come on this way. Hey, Captain. Hi. Welcome aboard this way. Hello. Thank you. Hi. Hello. What's this about? Special cargo, science team. Oh, you're the new gate girl. I have master's degrees in bioengineering and physics and a doctorate in gene therapy. Okay. Welcome aboard. Patty, I think you've got it under control up here. I'm just going to head up to the cockpit and see if me and the other hillbillies can get this plane off the ground. Yes, sir. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, you just made it by the hair on my chin. Yeah, save it. Uh, just point me to my seat, okay? All right, someone's in the mood. All right, 14C in coach. Thanks, guy. Thank you. Welcome aboard. I have to put these away. No, what are you going to take those for? To stowage. Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> don't lose them, okay? I got early key time. Don't worry. 7 November, George. Jack. Jack? Jack? Jeez. First my name. Next thing you know is you want my gym hub. Is our crate safe in the cargo hold? And those baggage handlers just throw everything around. Fred, is the cargo safe? Safe as houses. See, Philip? Safe as houses. Fred's never let you down. And I'm not about to start, Dr. Stewart. And Lord, Jesus, if it shall be your will that I die on this plane tonight, please let my deliverance into your strong. Pardon me, you're making me nervous. <sighs> this your first time flying, girl? Second. It'll be my last if I have anything to say about it. <sighs> Relax, baby. You know, they say more people are killed each year by donkeys. Then plane crashes. Yeah, right. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to take off. Please fasten your seat belts and make sure that your tray tables are in their upright and locked position. Please observe that Captain Jack has turned on the no smoking sign. Smoking is prohibited throughout the aircraft. Thank you and have a very pleasant flight. Jesus, Jack. You're not going to smoke all the way through this flight again, are you? <laughs> you really should quit. No reason to.
Scott, listen. I'm sorry. I've been dumped before. I know how it works. But I'm just not done being mad at you yet. Oh, really? Yes, really, Jen. Let me see, you broke up with me a week ago. After three years together, I think it's a little much for you to expect me to be, what, fine with this? So quickly? Well, I'm sorry. Just this recirculated air makes me irritable. Apparently. I'm gonna go splash some water on my face. You know, Jennifer, there's an old chemist's expression, don't leave your lunch bag near a lit Bunsen burner. What? Don't date people you work with, Jennifer. I never have. Yeah, but you never leave the lab, Philip. You never meet anybody you don't work with. That's the reason you never married. <laughs> She's got you there, Doc. Hey, where do you think you're going? I just thought I'd see what Courtney was doing. No, Courtney doesn't need your shenanigans. In fact, your shenanigans bought you this seat, and you're staying put. Yeah, but it's not my fault. Shannon totally. Oh, put Shannon, me up. Shannon, Shannon. It's always Shannon, isn't it? You know what? Why don't you take responsibility for yourself? Now, I'm putting on my music, and I don't want to be disturbed for anything. Have a nice flight, loser. Millhouse, what went wrong? You didn't say anything about the bloke in the back of the van with the bloody gun. The specimens are in the cargo hold right now. I paid you people. Let's go and switch them. Now I have to do this? Jesus, I have to do this? That's right. You're on your own, mate. You fellas look like you need something. Coffee? Pillow? No, thank you. We are fine. Yes, fine. Okay. Yafi, I have a bad feeling. You always have a bad feeling. Oh. I can't even remember the planes we've been on. Home, Bombay, Singapore, Australia. Sudan. Our father died attempting the same mission. I have waited for 11 years. I have worked for 11 years to accomplish what he could not. It is my destiny. It is yours too, to succeed. Mm. I hope so, brother. I hope so. Allah, Allah. America.
think I'll stretch my legs. You okay, Dr. Stewart? Oh, fine, Fred. Thank you. I'll be right back. Young man, excuse me. Yes, ma'am. I smell cigarette smoke. Really? That's terrible. I'm telling you, I smell smoke. Well, we'll see what we can do to get that nasty smell out of your nose. You just do that. So, how are things in first? Just taking care of the privileged passengers. Life's rough for you, huh? Mmm. Enjoying the pit? <laughs> oh, is that mooing I hear? No, it's that snotty rich cow you have to wait on. Mmm. Bye-bye. <laughs> Dr. Miller. Excuse me. Whew. What are you doing, Doctor? Um, everything's okay. Everything's okay. I, I, there's nothing you should concern yourself with. <laughs> <laughs> That's odd. Here I thought I was head of security for this outfit, which would make whatever you're doing to that cargo very much my concern. Okay, listen, Fred, I'm gonna, I'm gonna level with you. Philip and Jennifer, they have limited vision. They just, they just don't know how much money this technology is worth. But you do. Yeah, that's right, I do. And I can make sure that there's a nice slice in it for you, Fred. Huh? My good pal Fred, huh? I make a living. I work for my pay. Yeah, but why should you, buddy? Look, this time next week, I'm in Hong Kong at a restaurant eating sushi off a naked woman's body. And you can be there with me, uh, hosting to our, our good fortune. I don't like sushi. The place I know makes a great burger. No, oh, come, come on, come on. Dr. Stewart, he trusts you. He trusts you even more. That's why, that's why this will work. No, no, this isn't going to work. This is over. Jesus Christ, Fred. You really shouldn't fire a gun on a plane, Fred. I don't want to shoot this gun at all. Now, we're going to go upstairs. We're going to sit down together. And we're going to fly to Los Angeles. Dr. Stewart can deal with you when we land. But for right now, we're going to keep all of this between us. Hey, absolutely. I mean, you know, I... It's a fuck up here. It's my bad, all right? I just... Absolutely. I mean, I think that that's a 100% accurate. Hey, this was a mistake. I am so sorry that I... reservations about our involvement with the new investors. I mean, the research isn't advanced enough to put control of the work into the hands of CEOs and marketing suits. We haven't done anywhere near enough testing. Jennifer, I didn't want to mention this, but to be bluntly honest, we're tapped. What? I've spent everything I have on the project. I sold all my family's lands and holdings. We need money, Jennifer. We need money, facilities, distribution. Without new funding, it's all academic. The work stops. I have concerns, brother. Again. Why do you have concerns now? I fear we might fail. We cannot fail. We boarded the plane without any trouble. We are in the air. And soon we will be in the international airspace. Yeah. But I'm worried. You know, if it worry, you will not help. Faith will. Faith in Allah. Faith in your brother. Faith in yourself. 
We have a lot to do. Why don't you go to sleep? Get some rest. Thank you, brother. All right, Jack. Dreams do come true. You drive for a while. I'm gonna go grab a cup of coffee. You got it, Jack. Oh, man. Hey, why don't you two take that to the bathroom? What a divine idea. Come on, Brad. Yeah, my high club. I had to say something. And it was a good something, girl. <laughs> Come on, Brad. Can I get that for you, Donna? It's doctor. Whoa, you're doing a lot of damage to that fine airplane coffee. I don't think there's anything I could do to make this coffee worse. Besides, my boyfriend likes it this way. Well, I don't see your boyfriend anywhere. I'm a big girl. I can take care of myself. They're probably making the sweet, sweet love. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry you had to get your coffee yourself. Oh, that's okay. I got to meet the captain. <laughs> you mean Captain Broken Heart? What do you mean? Oh, honey, he's a one-woman man and she died eight years ago. He was flying a little Cessna into San Francisco. Hit a low patch of fog. He lived. His wife and her sister didn't. Oh my God, that's terrible. That's what they all say, sweetie. You know, I tried to play in that briar patch a few years ago and got stung. Mark my words. Run. <laughs> I'll take that under advisement. You are not here to taunt me again. Just wanted you to see my face again, so it'll be burned in your memory when I'm gone and on that Bahamas route. Talk to the elbow, because the hand wants to smack you. Oh. Ah! Uh, uh, hey, help! A little help here! Hey, stewardess, come on! Oh. Mm. I think that's one of yours. Yeah. Yes, sir. What can I do for you? Getting a warning light from avionics. Huh. That's probably just a short. Hey, George, make me feel good and uh, go down to avionics and check it out, will you? Karate girl, huh? <laughs> yeah. So you got a man in the States? Look, I'm sure you're a really nice guy and everything, but I'm so not in the mood. <laughs> I was just asking a question. You know, you got some pretty titties for a karate girl. <laughs> oh! You're gross. You're weird. 
Thanks. My name's Courtney. Uh, Gunther. So, uh, what are you supposed to be, Gunther? Some sort of vampire? Sometimes. So, what are you uh, doing in, in Australia? I'm leaving Australia. I was in this huge karate tournament. We were qualifying for the world championships. Broke my arm. I can see that. What are you doing in Australia? I'm, uh, I'm studying Aborigine burial techniques. Not really. Oh, entirely. Ah! I found this most fantastic coffin. A coffin? Yeah. It's in the hold. My, uh, my Doberman is guarding it. Is that right? Yeah. Wait, it's really quite interesting. George sure has been gone a while, hasn't he? Hey, why don't you try reaching him on the intercom? He's not picking up. Maybe I'll wander down there and see if he needs a hand. Are you kidding me? Thought you were gonna have to die before I ever got to sit in the big chair. I'll be right back. Don't even think about it. If I wanted a bunch of teenagers jumping all around me, I would have stayed at home. Listen, I have more work here than, than God, and if I don't finish it before we land, I'm dead, okay? So I... Mm -hmm. no. Nice to meet you, too. George! George! Come on, quit messing around. What the hell has happened here? Have you seen one of those big people? Is everything okay in here? Where the hell have you been? We have a situation. What? Get ground control on the horn and tell me I have an emergency situation up here and I'll be right back. Oh, jeez. Well, what they don't know won't hurt them. Recyclable. Damn it. Patty, why are you putting recyclables in the trash? Now oh, that stings. Something wrong? You see those two guys over there? Yeah. Do you remember them boarding? No, now that you've mentioned it. Yeah, me neither. <sighs> and I don't see anything listed on the manifest for those seats. Patty, could you keep everyone out of here for a few minutes? Certainly, Captain. Thanks. Gentlemen, may I have a word with you, please? Please, this way. I want to 
know what the hell you're doing on my plane. We are flying to America. Cut the shit and tell me what the hell you're doing on this flight. Sir, sir, uh, we are very sorry, but we do not have proper papers. You know, I don't think you realize how difficult it is to get work visa for America in our country. No, no, it's okay. It's okay, Afi. My brother and I, we, we will make great electricians in your country. We can fix anything. Anything. It is true. Anything. Oh, man. You guys are just illegal. Sir, no, please. Sir, hey, sir, quiet. Please, sir, quiet. Hey, listen to me. I'm going to deal with you once I get back to Los Angeles. Now, I want you to go back and sit in your seats and remain there for the rest of the flight, right? INS can deal with you once we get back to Los Angeles. Now, go sit. Yeah, fit. Fit. Fit, my brother. We've got trouble. I've been hailing ground control on every frequency. Nobody's responding. Shit. Are you sure? Checked, double checked, triple checked. All right. This is what we're gonna do, Jack. I'm gonna go check the seat phone and see if I can reach ground control that way. Hi. Are you sure you're the captain? You never seem to be flying the plane. Hey, I could fly this plane blind. Uh, listen, I know this is going to sound a little weird. But Probably. Can I use your credit card? That is weird. What are you going to order takeout? Uh, no, I, I just need to make a quick call. It's personal, and uh, the airlines doesn't like it when I make personal calls from the cockpit. A personal call? A girlfriend? Uh, no. Uh, I haven't had one of those in quite a while. Huh. What about a cell phone? I have one, um, but they really don't work in planes and certainly not this far over the ocean. You don't have a credit card? <sighs> Decline. <sighs> it's not going to be a long call. What do you say? Sure. No problem. One call, no shopping. Thanks. I'll bring it right back. I need to be connected to control tower. My name is Captain Jack Russell. Clearance code Alpha 154777. Thank you. Yes, hello. My name is Captain Jack Russell. I'm on flight 1443 Heavy, Melbourne to Los Angeles. Who am I talking to? Over. Roger, 1443. This is Bob Campbell. Hey, you're not calling on a standard comm line. Captain, where are you calling from? Over. I'm on the seat phone in the main cabin. We have an emergency situation up here. Over. What's the nature of your emergency, Captain? Unidentified. There's some kind of... Say again? We have a man down. 1443. We lost you there. Hello? Hello? Come in. 1443. Mike? Oh, come on. Everybody, please remain seated. The suit of this under control. Jack, what the hell is happening? The situation is, is under control. If you all could just remain seated. Hey, Doc. You're one of the science people, right? Yeah. Well, I think there's something you ought to know about. That's all we got? Unidentified? Some kind of... Well, some kind of what? That's all we got before we were cut off. It's FAA time, people.
Let's do it. Come on, man. Let's go. We're going to be safer back there. Come on, let's go. Rather be dead than go back to coach. cloning process would very likely quadruple their size, but not this fast. Scott, Scott, did you know this was going to happen? I had no idea this was going to happen, Phil. No, this, this is totally, totally unprecedented. Do, do not touch them. Oh, thanks. Yeah, because, you know, I was thinking about going and petting them. <laughs> oh, did you tell her, brother? I heard you. You're lucky, it's still working. Hey, you're lucky that thing didn't eat you. You know, I never did get your name. It's Jennifer. Jack. All right, enough jibber jabber. Where are they? Where'd those things go? They obviously retreated. What the hell is crawling all over my plane killing people? Yeah, what the hell are those things? They're scorpions. You're kidding. Scorpions. No, no, I've seen scorpions on one of them animal shows. They're about that big. That ain't no scorpion. Yeah, and there's nothing listed on your cargo manifest about giant scorpions with your equipment. They weren't giant scorpions when we put them on the plane. They were simply dormant specimens, and we listed them as such. There's no way they could have gotten out. They were in a secure containment crate. See, the canisters must have been jostled, right? When your plane lost control. Well, that'd be a good theory, except for the fact that we lost control because one of those big ass son of a bitches was in the cockpit. What? Yeah, and I take it kind of personally. But just how big is this big ass son of a bitch in the cockpit? Big. Mighty big, or? Yeah. There's a queen. <laughs> Are you the FAA specialist? Uh, yes, sir. I'm Curtis Burnham. This is Mr. Highball and Mr. Brick. Uh, hi, uh, Mike Rowe. Uh, hi. <laughs> hi, Mike. Bob's been keeping an eye on things here. Oh. Bob? Wow, that was fast. This is Mr. Burnham. Uh, Curtis, please. Hi, Bob. So, um, how long since the phone call from that plane? 63 minutes, 22 seconds. Okay. Have you had any contact at all with anyone on the plane since? Uh, ransom calls, any possible hijackers or terrorists? No, nothing like that. Just that short phone call, then a sharp dive in altitude about 10 minutes ago, but that looks like they leveled off. Yeah, I see you've got them on radar. Yeah, we got them on radar, but that's all we got. Mm -hmm. Well, good work, Bob. Good work. Thanks. Hey, do you mind if my guys sit there? No, no, not at all. Okay, highball. I need schematics of the plane. I need uh, cargo manifest, uh, crew complement, passenger manifest. Brick, establish a link to Strategic Air Command and the National Weather Center. I want to know if there's any military in that airspace and what the storm is going to do. Yes, sir. What the hell is going on? Jennifer, now you know I'd help if, if I didn't have this damn bad back. Watch the arm. Is everybody here? Everybody who is here is here. 
I think we can safely say that everybody who is, is not here is dead. Where's Fred? One of the specimens must have got him. Oh, poor Fred. Uh, now listen, people, I've got to get off of this plane. I have a very, very important meeting. McAllen. McAllen, we all know that you have an important meeting. Okay? Hey, didn't you guys say that you could build anything and fix anything? Oh, yes, of course. Definitely, sir. But, but we need to know more about what we are up against. Yeah, in order for us to properly defend ourselves. They're giant scorpions. Okay. No problem. We have other problems. Yeah? What's that? Well, to start with, my crew's dead, and I'm the only one left who can land this plane. Well, do us all a big favor and don't die. Yeah, well, that was a big part of my plan. Good. What else? Communications are down, and we need to talk to the ground in order to land this thing. Plus, we need to get to avionics and activate the APU. APU? What is a frickin' APU? Auxiliary power unit, sir. Exactly. What's your name again? Yafi. Yafi, sir. Yafi. Good. All right, we also need weapons. Yeah. Between those pincers and the venom that they're packing in their tails, we're going to need some heavy-duty artillery. All right, well, I guess uh, let's, let's find out what Shit. we got. Yeah. Jeez. Okie dokie. Strategic Air Command says they've got nobody in that airspace. Thank God for small favors. They want to know if there's anything they can do to help. <laughs> Tell them thanks and we'll let them know. Uh, what does the National Weather Center say about that storm? Well, the good news is that it's not going to get any worse. And the bad news? It's not going to get any better. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. What do you got? Yala. Well, Habib, we can do it. Good. We okay. can do it! Should we be ready then to make our way down to the cargo hold? Yes! Sounds like it. Uh, those okay. things are down there, though. I'll those go. things are everywhere. What do you want? Like, you know what? You're getting bossy. Sorry! Toolbox! Toolboxes. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. The toolboxes are in the cargo hold. They would be most helpful. Oh, I'm doing so it. Right. Right. Wait. We can, most, we can definitely use this. Listen, how many of these things are there, do you think? Worst case scenario? 20. Minus Friends? that dead one, 19. Oh, 19! Right. You're saying that, right. that with that giant one locked in the cockpit, there's 18 of those things roaming the plane. Listen, right. I'm gonna take those eyes, and I'm gonna get down to APU. I'm gonna turn that thing on, okay? Okay, I'll go with Captain Jack. Highball, what have we got on that plane? Just a second. Boom. Full schematics, passenger manifest, crew complement, cargo manifest. Okay, highball, find me a way to talk to that plane. You got it. Is everybody ready? I will now open the hitch. Do it slow. We have the flashlight. Jolly. Okay. Do it. You guys have got to be kidding me. This stuff is never going to work. Well, you know what? If you've got a better idea, I'm sure we'd all be real glad to hear it. Yeah, i got a great idea. Why don't we just land this bug and fist and even get another plane? Oh, great. Right, because we're over the ocean, stupid. All right, avionics is this way. Yeah, but our tools are that way. OK, let's get the tools first, then we'll deal with avionics. No. You and I are going to avionics. I need your expertise. Oh, really? What for? I need someone to hold the flashlight. You think you can handle that? Let's go. Mr. Brother, I will find the tools. Dracula, did you find any weapon? My name's not Dracula, it's Gunther. Actually, it's not Gunther, it's Joel. I'm from New Jersey. 
I've just been using the accent to impress women. My life is a sham. Dracula, um... Gunther, uh, Joel. This is a great story, but this is not the right time for personal identity crisis. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Hey, this is no storytelling time, huh? There are scorpions. Come on. Come on, my brother. Come on. Hey, hey, Dracula, uh, Gunther, come, come. So where are you from? Small talk, eh? Moved around a lot. Army brat. Army brat. Sounds about right. You? Well, darling, I wake up every morning and I thank God that I'm a Texan. That explains a lot. What do you mean by that? Nothing. People are scientists? That's right. So fill a brother in, right? Why are you making giant scorpions? Um, complicated. Try us. We were trying to synthesize a biogenetic pathogen that would aggressively combat disease. Diseases like AIDS and cancer. Components of this pathogen are found in great abundance in scorpion hormonal secretions. So you were raising giant fucking scorpions? Uh, not exactly, no. So then what the hell do you mean? Those animals have never existed before. They're an entirely new species. You guys are saying that these things are like, say, the killer bees, where you genetically crossed an African honeybee with an American honeybee, and bam, the killer bee was born? <sighs> Precisely. Damn, baby. You sexy and smart. Oh, I saw it on the news. Yeah, well, and just what did you cross these giant fucking scorpions with? Oh, lots of things. <laughs> but the primary induction was the DNA from the fossilized remains of a Paleolithic scorpion millions of years old. Nice. So you made Jurassic Park scorpions? Look over there. What is this? Looks like a dead skin of scorpion. It's not mine. Oh, oh shit! shit. <laughs> There will be more scorpions. Everybody, hurry! Come on! Now! Come on, Sudan! Ah! Ow! Oh. Ah! Damn. This is bad. How bad? Real bad. circuit board is melted. We're gonna have to turn on the auxiliary power unit at the source. Okay. But we've got bigger problems. We do? See those cables? The shredded ones? Yeah. Those control the landing. How goes it, Curtis? Well, not as quickly as I'd like. Anything I can do to help? Actually, yes, Mike, there is. They passed over Hawaii hours ago. 
And so I'm operating under the assumption that the plane will be landing directly here. And she's going to be coming in pretty fast and hard. When that happens, I don't want to be scrambling for a runway. I hear that. <laughs> I'm cross-referencing the passenger manifest with the customer listing of every cell phone company nationwide. What, you can do that? Of course not. That would be in violation of these citizens' rights to privacy. Yeah, either that or industrial espionage. <laughs> yeah, I forget which. I need two more minutes. Hey, I heard about your wife. You want to talk about this now? I'm sorry, let's talk about the APU some more. All right. It's just, um, I feel like uh, I still miss her, and uh... There's a lot to enjoy in this world, Jack. I think she'd want you to be doing that, enjoying the world instead of clinging to loss for the rest of your life. That's a real understanding of you. Hey, I see a sad guy who could be happy if he'd let himself. You got a hell of a bedside manner, Doc. If you only knew. It's clear. Let's get out of here. Jack! Oh, shit! Rest in peace, you big ass son of a bitch! Are you a gun? Oh, good work. Listen, I need to get into the cockpit. So we gotta figure out how to get that big ass bitch out of there. Mr. Jick! Mr. Jick! We have fashioned the weapon for that exact purpose. Just hey, wait. Hey, maybe we should be building something to contain her. Contain my ass? Let's see what bad business my Eastern brothers here have built. Excuse me. Oh. Oh. Here, bring it up. I ain't got nothing to say. You know, I'm with the man that's got the meeting. That shit ain't gonna kill shit. Mr. Omar, you are not seeing the whole picture. This is, this is just the body armor. It goes with this. Here. Yeah. That's, well, that's impressive. This power pack goes on the back. And we have lined this jumpsuit with neoprene for insulation. But the user is going to feel a little tingle. Little. Uh, where'd you get that neoprene? Oh, oh we found a wetsuit down below in one of the suits. Oh, man, that's mine, man! Uh, we are sorry, Mr. Omar, but you will be pleased to know that we had no interest whatsoever in many, many pairs of bright underpants. Oh, all right. <laughs> hey, shit. Look, I'm not even trying to hear this, y'all. You know what? 
I'm gonna go kill these motherfuckers myself. No. No, no Omar, wait! M Mr. Omar! Okay, hi, Ball. I have a rather urgent phone call to make. Do you have a number for me? Sorry, boss. It looks like no one up there is packing a cell phone. Well, how can that be? Okay, man. Did you check the crew? The crew? Oh, shit. Curtis, I'm sorry. What did I tell you about that mouth, highball? Sorry, man. Wait a minute. Got it. Jack Russell, the captain. Just the man I need to speak to. A brick? Yeah, boss. I need Randall Anderson at the CIA. Um, try his home number. You got it. Suddenly becomes so big. Could you, uh, please? Could you? He's even after that. Sit, 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 sit. I want, I want, I want to talk to you. What about? About the fact that we're sitting here conspiring to destroy everything that we made. I mean, did you spend the last three years building something up just so you could tear it down? Scott, what we've built kills people. Yeah, very effectively too. What? Listen to me. These insects are the only ones of their kind. We have an obligation to do whatever we can to make sure that they do not become extinct. You'd rather we become extinct? What, so you and Cowboy Jack are just gonna shoot up the saloon together? Is that what this is? Oh, oh Scott, I can't believe you're gonna make this about us. Really? This is not about us. This is about the survival of the people on this plane. They don't this think is for about a second that living. I haven't Come on, don't you think I've seen the way you two have been mooning over each other ever since you came on board? And now, you're gonna merrily destroy everything I've worked my entire fucking career to achieve? I will not allow it! Get up, 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 up! Jack? You got a gut? Buddy, we could have been using that to kill those things dead by now! He doesn't want them dead. <laughs> Professor Philip! Oh yeah. See what happens? God, why? Why this? You never gave me equity, profit share, any control, you know? So I cut a deal for myself, old man. Scott, this is crazy. <sighs> Sick bastard. You sick bastard. Hey, we could still be friends, right? I never wanted this, and I'm gonna go. Everybody all right? Uh, well, I'm okay. Shit, Scott. Yeah, shit, Scott. All right. Everybody, oh, get, get up. Yeah. We still got a plane to land. Move it. 
Get up! Jesus Christ! Move, people! Is this Randall Anderson? Randall, this is Curtis Burton. I need a favor. <sighs> Guess I'm gonna have to do this the hard way. What's the story, Money Glory? Well, these are desperate times, my desperate measures. What do you want us to do? The mother of all hacks. What's the target? The CIA spy satellite control system. All right, everyone remain calm. We're not out of this yet. Right, Captain Jack? Right. But we'd all be able to think a little more clearly if you just put the gun down, you know? Yeah? No chance. Okay. You're the boss. Can you land the plane? I still need to fix the landing gear wiring in the avionics room. <clears throat> All right. How long until we reach Los Angeles? An hour, maybe less. Okay. Okay, good. <clears throat> good, 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 good. You, go drive. Did you not hear me? I mean, what, what part did you miss? I said that I still need to fix the landing gear wiring in the avionics room. Okay. Cool. You two, go fix the landing gear. Jesus. <laughs> you crazy asshole. There's a stack of three ring binders as high as an elephant's ass detailing the wiring schematics. God, it sounds really complicated. We can do it. We can do it, sir. Hell, it'd take damn near rocket scientists to do it that quick. I'm no rocket scientist. We can do it. <laughs> Mr. Jack. I and my brother came for our quest to America so far. We will fix that landing gear, or we will die trying. See? All right. Looks like you're our only shot. Let's see what you guys can do. The wiring you're looking for. The wiring you're looking for, the big gray cables on the aft wall in the avionics room. Good luck, Yaffe. Sudan. Looks like we're gonna need a hell of a lot of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure that one of them can scamper up here to ask you some questions if they got a fucking problem. All right, Saddam, Arafat, get your tools. I will escort you to avionics. Yes, sir. Excuse me, sir. Mr. Jack is right. You are a crazy asshole! My tools. You have no idea. Captain Jack, I'd like for you to remain seated for the remainder of the flight. You. Sit! Now you, move, move, move! God damn it, move! We are doing it, we are doing it! Yeah, fuck down there. I think this has been sitting there a while, but I added lots of cream and sugar. Mmm. Wow. Oh, that's bad. I think you missed your calling. Maybe you really should be a flight attendant. I think this is very complicated. If we connect the wrong wire to the circuit board, we may very well melt the whole thing. We will do it, brother. We will do it. Yes, it would be a great help to get Captain Jake to guide us through this. We want Captain Jake. Well, you can't have him. All right, you said you can do it, so do it. Okay. Marhaba, yalla habib, khadar zira wa thna naya. I have an idea. I have an idea. You prepare and splice the wires. I would be right back. Okay. Good luck. Uh, where are you going? I'm going this way. Good, I'm gonna go with you. How's that? Good. You will be useful. Follow me. Come.
Hey. I found this back there. I figured you were probably dying for a smoke. They actually survived all this. If we do, uh, maybe I'll think about quitting smoking. Yeah. Mr. Scott, you take this to Mr. Jack for communication. I will help my brother Sudan. Yeah, very, very good. Yeah, you do that. You go help Saddam, all right? And no funny business. Yes, yes, yes. No funny business. I know you are a very evil and scary man. Now go, please! Go! Please, please, fast! We want communication! Go, 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 go! I'm sorry about what I said back there. I think it's incredible that you still hold your wife in your heart. There's no reason to get rid of that. Thanks for saying that. She would have really have liked you. Thanks. So, here I am again with other people's lives in my hands. Kind of goes with the job, doesn't it? Thanks. I'll get us down. You better. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt this magic moment, but I want you focused on landing the darn plane. You. Sudan. Captain Jack. Oh, damn nation. <sighs> Scott, what is wrong with you? What the hell are you doing? I've been like this. This is all wrong. Are you proud of yourself? Well, this certainly is a magnificent fucking catastrophe, but very definitely not what I had in mind. What you had in mind? Jesus Christ, you were gonna sell us all out. What can I say? <laughs> what can I say? You and Philip never truly appreciated the market value of the technology. You bastard. People died because of your greed. Ooh. Ain't that just too damn bad? And all for nothing too, seeing as all the specimens are gone, thanks to Grandpa. Fill up, you asshole! Ah, 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 sit, bitch. Look at me! Good girl. All right, girlfriend. You keep your eyes open. If there is one fucking specimen left on this plane, I am going to have more money than God. God don't need money. Good. More for me. Oh my... Jack! Slightly mutated. And the left pelipad is a little lopsided, though, but I might say overall she's damn sexy. Jack, are you all right? Oh my god. I've been better. Jen, I can't see. Courtney. Stay here and help Jack see what he needs to see. And wrap something around his eyes. Where are you going? 
Somebody has to kill that thing. <gasps> Green motherfucker! No, no, Captain Jack! Captain Jack! Yuffie! Yuffie! Come on, V. Come on. Come on. Holy shit. Holy shit. We're in. Holy shit, we're in. Holy we're in. shit! Curtis! Okay, what have we got? Well, apparently, we have a CIA spy satellite. Holy shit! The mouth on this guy! Good, good work. I'm okay, brother. I'm no, okay. But, Yaffe, you, you must finish the job. But, Yaffe, I... Uh, but nothing. Life of many people on this plane is in our hands. You, you, you have to save them. Yeah, I will try, I will try, brother. Try hard. Try hard. Come on, do it. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Where did she go? That way. Are you all right? I will live if we land. But first, we have to kill the bitch. Count on it. The defibrillator only carries enough power for a short jolt. Brother, in order for us to kill the bitch, we need something a larger battery, something larger more of... Larger battery? Got an idea. N not the old APU, sister. That much voltage will kill you, sister. Fix the plane. I'll be back. Say what you want. That girl got Moxie. Captain Jack? Captain Jack, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Captain Jack, uh, the primary and secondary couplings are spliced and bound. We are definitely ready to, re to start reconnecting. Okay, running up the right side of the box, you're going to see a series of connectors. Do you see them? Oh, yes, I do. Good. Captain Jack, the many connectors, which one? I need you to have them wire tested until you find an open line. Okay, oh, I, oh. I can we will do it, brother. Thank you, Yaffe. Satellite is in position, matching speed and trajectory. Thank you, Brick. Operator. Yes, sir. I'd like to place a person-to-person -person call, please. Yes, sir. What the hell? Courtney, grab that. It's in my bag. Hello? Curtis Bird. This is Courtney. Hey, um, we're in a lot of trouble up here. Yeah, yeah, he is. Uh, hold on. It's for you. Hello? Who is this angel of mercy? Well, what's left of him? Who's this? <laughs> well, I never thought that I'd be happy getting a call from the FAA. Okay, Captain, I need you to accelerate your descent. You're at about 6,000 feet now. Right, Courtney, what's our altimeter reading now? 3,000. Wait, Curtis, you're saying we're at 6,000 feet? Damn it, Curtis, my altimeter is malfunctioning. It says 3,000 feet, so you're gonna have to call the ball from here. All right, okay. 
Courtney, relay my, my altitude. Okay. All right, Captain, just follow my lead. Uh, you're gonna need to power dive for a short burst. I'll uh, count it off for you. Are you ready? Everybody grab something and squeeze it now. Now. Oh, shit. <laughs> Five thousand. Five thousand? Forty-five hundred. Forty-five hundred. Four thousand. Four thousand? Get ready to level off now. She beautiful. Hey, babe. Guess. Guess why I'm not dead yet. Oh, God. Yeah, see, apparently, <laughs> after years of all the little minor stings from the scorpions we were using in the lab, I you know, developed an immunity to the to the venom. Yeah, you know, not, you know, not completely. I mean, you know, I'm not, obviously. <laughs> I feel a little bit, you know. It's like. Rush, it's a rush. That gun's empty, Scott. <clears throat> you were saying? Oh, God. Damn it. Rafi, Sudan! I need to land now! Guys! I don't know which connector. Pick one. We have no time. But Yafi, I catch. You can do it. I'm not gonna let you hurt her, Jennifer. Okay, I'm not gonna let you undo what I've done. She's perfection. She's my little, my little girl. She's mine. You can have her. I need to land now! Come on, guys! Ya Allah. Do it.
Thank you for flying with us. Is that? Yeah. That means the plane is on the ground. Congratulations. Not bad, cowboy. Well, hello, Jennifer. Is it dead? Better than dead. Nice work. You too. Thanks. But Courtney did it all. Come on, let's get me out of this damn crate. Yuffie! We are in America. <laughs> yes! Yes! That ain't right, y'all, locking a brother up in that thing for hours. We thought you were dead. No. I went and I was hunting those things down. I had my screwdriver, and the thing, I killed like five or six of them out there. It was crazy. How the hell did you get up there? I don't know. Better get you to a hospital. Yeah, I'll be fine. We just say me and you, uh, it's just plain, and we uh, go get a place. And, uh, I know Tantra. I know karate. Well, in that case, I bet you're dying for one of these. I just quit. Yeah, finally got a reason to. <laughs> Come on. Let's go, cowboy.